Oh, I can like turn the screen off? Yes. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. How do I know it's rolling? Okay. Oh, good. Oh, good. Yeah. We're recording to a phone, people. Hey everybody, it's Lauren from Hot For Food, back again to cook for you. Thanks for being here. All right, so we're gearing up for a long weekend. This weekend is what we call in Canada the May 2-4 long weekend. I don't know why it's called that. Uh, but I don't think you have it anywhere else in the world, pretty sure, but nonetheless, they're all gearing up for summer. It's almost summer. It, you're gonna have barbecues, pool parties, picnics, all kinds of events where you're gonna to wanna to bring vegan options. And so I've got a pretty healthy recipe to share with you today. I call these burger buns, lentil walnut burger buns. It's basically your burger and your bun all in one. So your burgers slash your buns are on the outside. You can put whatever kind of fillings you want in the middle, like onion, tomato, spinach. And I'm gonna show you how to make this creamy cashew pesto to spread on these babies. It's really delicious. And I know some of you right now might be just a little bit skeptical because you're like, where's all the crazy vegan junk food? Well, we do eat healthy sometimes. and This is actually like a legit healthy recipe. It's filling, it's got great vegetable protein in it. So nobody needs to ask you where you get your protein. All right, it's pretty easy to whip together. I'm gonna show you how it's done. So first things first, prep all your ingredients. It'll make it way easier to get going here. And we're gonna start by sauteing onions, carrot, and garlic in olive oil. And you're gonna do this for about seven minutes or so until you get some caramelization, a little bit of light browning going on and everything is softer. And then you're gonna throw that in a food processor. So now add lentils and walnuts, and then we're gonna pulse it in the food processor to get it well mixed together. Now you're gonna add buckwheat flour, nutritional yeast, dried parsley, onion powder, sea salt, smoked paprika, coriander, cumin, and ground pepper. Then we'll process this until it forms a smooth dough. All right, so now you got your burger bun dough. Yes, it looks a little bit like Snickles cat food, but it doesn't taste like that. You need to oil your hands gonna get a little messy here. This is just so it doesn't stick. And grab, it's about a quarter of a cup per patty. These are quite small, they're like little slider style. And pat it and make a little, make a little round patty. And then you're gonna put it on a parchment lined baking sheet. So this makes eight patties or four sandwiches. So I made all the patties, but I forgot that I wanted to try this. So I haven't done this before. I'm modifying my own recipe. I got this like goat cheese style cashew cheese yesterday and it's hard and it's round and I wanted to cut little slices and try and stuff a couple of the patties with cheese in the middle because you know how people make burgers and they're always like stuffing cheese and stuffing things in it. I feel like it would be good in this. So let's just give it a try. We're just gonna cut a little slice like that and I'll just reform a couple of them. Oh yeah. Like I think just take a half portion and make it pretty flat. Stick the cheese in and then take the other bit on top. Oh yeah. And then form your patty. Oh, maybe we should do all of them like this. <laughs> so these are going in a 400 degree Fahrenheit oven, preheated. You're gonna bake them for a total of 25 minutes but flip them over halfway through. So for the cashew pesto, we're gonna put soaked cashews in a blender with basil, lemon juice, garlic, almond milk, and salt and pepper. All right, so our cashew pesto is made and delicious and creamy. Our burger buns are great. I haven't opened them up to check the cheese, but we'll do that in just a secchi. Let's assemble these things. They are the lentil walnut burger buns. Your burger and bun all in one. Don't they look kind of cool? They actually look sort of like play food, like Play-Doh food. I think they're pretty cute. Uh, okay, and I'm really excited now with the modification of adding the cheese in the center of the buns. Mm. Oh yeah. 
Look at the cheese. So this recipe can easily be doubled. This only made four small little burgers, which is enough for two people because they're very filling. If you want to double it, just double the whole recipe. Uh, you probably don't need to double the sauce though. I made, I always make extra sauce because you can put this stuff now on anything, including salad or pasta or whatever. Okay, I'm gonna finish eating this. I won't bore you with all of that on camera, but I'm here every Wednesday. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the Hot For Food newsletter if you want recipes that you will only get via the newsletter. Like I said, the link is below. Follow me on Insta Story at Hot For Food. Follow Snickles on Instagram at Snickles Says. Uh, okay, that's it. Happy eating. Love you all. Mmm. I forgot to tell you that I googled Victoria Day long weekend and what it means and I feel really bad because it's to celebrate the Queen's birthday. Which is why we only have that holiday in Canada, so. The more you know, okay, bye.